If you like this video, please consider supporting the Otokana channel over on Patreon. Thank you. Hey there, how are you today? This is going to be a PO box opening video. Over the last three months, very kind people have been sending me some watercolour paint. Some of them are handmade watercolour paints that they've made themselves and others they've sent in colours that they thought I would really enjoy having a play with. I thought it'd be fun to have a swatching video with all these paints that people have sent in and it just means that I also get to credit the people that have been so generous by sharing their social media accounts and their YouTube channel so we can all check out what they are creating as well as swatching videos are always a lot of fun. I do have to tell you that the first three colours like this one and the next two set of colours I'm going to show you, they were all beautifully wrapped and the pounds were perfectly finished but I already filmed the first three sets before and then the footage just died on me. So the first three set, unfortunately, you don't get to see how beautiful they were as I unpack them. So I do apologize to the three people that sent in the first three set of paints, but their paints, I can already tell you, are very beautiful and fun to look at. So the first pair of paints here we have is from Patty. She says that she makes these for herself and few friends. And she doesn't sell them, but her friend Zandra uses her recipe and is selling it as PTP Rose Gold on her online store at paintandpaperstudio.com. So this is the colour that is sold at the Paint and Paper Studio. It's a rose gold colour. And she also sent me Crema's Magic Pacific Lagoon colour here. So let's swatch these out. Oh wow, it re wet so easily. That's very nice. It's an intense color. I keep mentioning that I've been trying to make my own metallic colors and I know how difficult it is to make solid colors like this. So it is a beautiful, beautiful rose gold color. Nice job, Patty. Now let's try the Magic Pacific Lagoon. It is what I would call an interference color. Again, very, very easy to re-wet. And a lot of interference happening. Let's try painting this color on black as well. Wow, that is really cool color. It's a blue color. Or turquoisey shine, definitely an interference colour. Let's try the rose gold on black as well. Metallics and interferences, all those colours do really well seen on black paper. Wow, look at how intense and packed that colour is. That is beautiful. Thank you so much for sending me these two colours. I'm going to be leaving links down below to everyone's social media and YouTube account if they have it and online shops if they have that as well. So do go check out all the links. Next up, we have paints from Julia and she is a paint maker. She has an online shop and she messaged me one day when she saw me say in one of my videos that I don't have any sparkly paints in my collection. She was like, that is too sad. I'm gonna send you some of my sparkly paints. And she did, and they are really, really beautiful. The finish, as I said, was perfect, but I've since been painting with these ones. So this one is Rosalie. Rewet really well again. Oh, that is a beautiful, I would call a blush color. Really, really pretty. Oh yeah, let's try swatching on the black paper as well. Next we have wider. Beautiful. It has a purple tone and a blue interference color on top. Really nice. 
Next we have Gloria, which is a nice gold colour. That is a lovely gold colour. Interestingly, it looks stronger on black paper than white paper. Let's try Iris next. Rewets so well. And then the paint has a nice creamy consistency. That's a nice, lively, bright turquoise. Then we have Agneta, which is like a very intense bronze colour. Really strong colour on the black paper there. And then we have Julia. A nice electric blue, I would say. Looking at this colour in particular closely, I'm not sure if the camera can catch this. It's pink, but with gold sparkles. It's really, really pretty colour. I love this colour. It's the Rosalie. All these colours have nice intensity, goes on really easily and smoothly, even though this is a cheap cellulose paper. Very nice. Thank you so much for your lovely handmade paints and be sure to check out her online shop. Next up, we have a package from Lane and she is a Texan living in the UK. And she sent me this magnificent package that had reams and reams of organza ribbons and wooden boxes and it was so beautiful and i filmed it all unfortunately i lost the footage so i'm really sorry that i couldn't show off your wonderful wrapping skills she sent me these beautiful and adorable paintings that are just so cute and i'm guessing this is kyanite from the amount of sparkle that is on this paint beautiful paintings and she also sent me this which says pop quiz how many legs does a fox have and sent me these amazing stickers of foxes with eight legs that's amazing where did you find these and how did they not notice that it has eight legs it's is it supposed to have eight legs i'm not sure she also sent me these Turner watercolour paints. They're colours that I don't have in my collection but was always intrigued by. So let's get swatching with these colours. I'm guessing this is Clove. Unfortunate thing with Turner is that they do crack. These are very different colours from the colours that I chose for myself to do the Turner watercolour review. So it's really nice to try these because I don't normally buy the more opaque, the ones with lots of white in them myself, but I'm always interested in trying them because I'm, I'm a pigment nerd, hashtag pigment nerd, and I, I love seeing what colors people create. So this one is a cinnabar. That is a pretty color. Like some colors are beautiful, some colors are like me, and then other colors are just cute. This is definitely a cute color. Then we have Sprout. Nice. That color reminds me of a matcha ice cream or matcha latte. Then we have fresh water. I can definitely imagine Eve from Eve Bolt really enjoying these pale pastel colors oh that's pretty i really like these two together and the cinnabar makes it a nice accent color then we have pale wisteria that 
This is a paler colour to the Dynasmith Wisteria and I would say this is a little bit more warmer with a little bit more red in it than the Daniel Smith version. The yellow green, which is very bright. And I really, really appreciate that she sent me the pigment information and life vastness and things. That's a lot of work. Thank you so much, Lane. That is a very beautiful, almost neon green. And then we have Moss, which has kind of decided to do a little dance in the pan that is definitely a nice olivey moss green color green gold that is a very nice green gold and then mayan blue turner is the other brand that does mayan colors and when you read the Turner leaflet, they say they're the ones that developed the Mayan colors and then Daniel Smith kind of insinuates that they kind of did it first. So who knows who did the colors first, but they have a lovely range of Mayan colors. And this is my first Mayan color that I've tried. It is really nice color, different from the Mayan blue of Daniel Smith. Let me grab it for you. This is Daniel Smith's Mayan blue as you see seen it in my Primatex series and you can see that this is a lot more turquoisey than the Daniel Smith Mayan Blue. And finally for the Turner's colour I have Mars Violet which is a very strong colour, very similar to Sennelier's uh, Caput Mortem. And then we have Daniel Smith's Iridescent Scarab Red. which is a lovely earthy color. And then we have Kyanite, which we've seen on this channel before in my Primatech range. It is a super sparkly color, as you can see. I have to say these very pale colors are really nice colors. They are pale, they do have white in it, but they're not chalky colors very clear colors and Turner's bright colors are very bright as well so I'm so glad I got to try these thank you so much for sending me so many wonderful lovely stuff for me to try Lane I really really appreciate your kindness and generosity next we have a package from Ethereal Ode and she sent me loads of stuff including including boxes of tea that was good for cold because I was going through a big bad cold at the time and they really really helped with my cold so thank you so much for those teas. She also sent me sheets of chamois oil for wiping your brushes with to get rid of the water in the brush and I have been using it since she sent it to me and it's very very good you can see it with paint marks. She also sent these beautiful washi cherry blossom petals that you can just stick on and smaller one here there we go that's so cute but the most exciting bit uh, these two little pans and this jar this is the old formulation of the Daniel Smith New Gamboge it has PY153, whereas nowadays you have PY97 and PY110 in their new gamboche. So this was like the last of her very last tube of that new gamboche. So thank you so much for sending me this, a sample of it. And then this one is the old formulation of the Daniel Smith Hooker's Green, which has PG36, PY3 and the PO49. Nowadays you get the sap green from Daniel Smith that has PG36, PY3, PO48 and PY150 because of course there's no longer any stock of the PO49. So I'm very interested in trying these out and then this is the magical jar i'm gonna call it 
It is a jar of the quinacridone gold PO49, the genuine article. I'll leave a link down below to where you can get this. And so I'm going to make a video of making this into a paint. I don't think it's going to have enough pigment to be able to sell. And I also feel a bit weird about selling and making money out of pigment that people have sent in for free. But I will definitely make a batch of this and send them on to obviously Ethereal Ode herself and people like Ev and Denise as well. So let's try these two lovely watercolors. First, I'm going to try the new Gamboge. So excited about this. Oh, wow, that's really bright. And I have here the new, new Gamboge. And I'll let that dry. And we have the hookers green. Unfortunately, I don't have a sample of the new hookers green because I tend to use the Holbein one. Oh, wow, that's really bright. Whew, that is amazing color. Just for comparison, I'm going to pull up the Holbein one and I also have this Nellier one. This is Holbein's one, and then this is Sennelier's one. I might have to invest in Daniel Smith's current Hooker's Greens just so that I can have a comparison between this and the new one. But as you can see, this is Daniel Smith's old recipe with the genuine PO49. This is Holbein's and this is Sennelier's. I would say that the Sennelier one is the most muted out of the three with Holbein being maybe a little bit too bright. And then the Daniel Smith's old recipe is like a nice middle. I would say that in terms of the new Gamboche, I have to say they did a great job in matching. I would maybe say that the new New Gamboge is slightly orangier. It has a more red to it than the New Gamboge of the old formulation. I did notice though with the old formulation, the paint went on a lot smoother on the paper than the new New Gamboge did. Thank you so much for sending these very precious, precious paints. And I'm gonna have fun making this into a paint. I'm really, really grateful that you were so kind to share some very rare colors with me. Thank you so much, Ethereal Ode. Next, I have this cute little pan that Anya sent me, and this is supposed to be the pinkest pink of pinks. The pigment was created by Stuart Sample in a act against Amir Kapoor having the rights to the blackest black, which is Vanta Black. That whole drama llama thing has gone completely out of control, but it is hilarious to watch from a distance. So it will be interesting to see if this really is the pinkest pink or if there are other colors that are brighter than this pinkest pink. So Anya bought the pigments and she made it into a watercolor for me so that I could test out this color. Let's do a second sample just to get the paint going. Okay, so it's pretty fluorescent. Let me see if I can pull up some opera pinks for you. I first have Holbein's opera pink. Um, well, <laughs> I kind of would argue that the opera pink by Holbein is a lot pinker than this so far. It's definitely a more intense pink. This is a lighter pink. This is like what you have in your pink highlighter. Whereas this is very bright. Starting to look a bit dubious there. <laughs> then we have Daniel Smith's Opera Pink. Which again, I would argue that these two are more pink than these two. But having said that, these two are more fluorescent than these two. Then I have Windsor Newton's Opera Pink. 
And then I have Schminkes. I feel like I'm comparing apples to oranges when I'm comparing the World's Pinkest Pink by Stuart Semple and the Opera Pinks. Even though I think in a lot of people's minds it's like the same colour before you try it out. So what I would say is that the world's pinkest pink is a lighter pink, debatably a little bit more fluorescent than the opera pinks of various brands though. So I guess it depends on your definition of the pinkest pink. If the pinkest pink means more fluorescent, then yes, the pinkest pink is pinker. If it's about being pink color though, I would say that the opera colors win every time. Thank you so much Anya for sending me the pinkest pink watercolor that you made yourself. It is really good to be able to try these and see what they mean by the pinkest pink. Next I have some lovely paint samples that Grace went to the Dennis Smith Seattle store and got me samples of which I'm incredibly grateful for and I'm also impressed at how big a sample they allow you to take in store. It is definitely on my bucket list to visit there one day. She was kind enough to make samples of colours I was very interested in that I haven't had access to before so thank you so much and let's get swatching. So first we're gonna try the Quinothalo, Quinothalo? Queen of Thalo in yellow. That's, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Wow, that is very, very vivid yellow. Strong, strong yellow. It's actually not showing up very well on the camera because of how bright this is. And then Antiquinoid Scarlet. I have, I think, this Antiquinoid Red. Whereas this is more of a very, very, very bright vermilion. Really nice colour. Then Yavapai Genuine. Unfortunately, I won't be getting to the brown colours of the Primatech range. So it is very interesting to see that range. And then Terry Akando. <laughs> Ecolano. My goodness, my pronunciations are terrible today. Please do laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> for my pronunciations. They are really nice colours. I would say like that is a red squirrel colour and that is a brown bear colour. <laughs> then we have duochrome green pearl. Just lovely. It's a very pale, kind of a warm turquoisey colour. Then duochrome violet fantasy. I'll, I will paint these in black paper in a second. And then Interference Red. Interference Copper. And finally Interference Goldstone, which is a beautiful colour. Right, let's paint them on black paper. These are the interference colours. Now, there are moments when it, the paint looks invisible on the camera. However, it doesn't fade away in real life. It's just the way the camera is filming this. Very nice colours. Thank you so much for going all the way to Sinelia's factory shop and I'm slightly no, very jealous that you live so close by to the their store. If I lived in Seattle, I'd be there like all the time. I've really enjoyed testing out their colors. So thank you so much for taking the time to make these stock cards for me, Grace. You'll know Grace from Ev's channel, Eve Bolt. She's my fellow moderator on her live streams. We keep telling her she needs to create a channel for herself, so please do encourage her to make a channel. And finally, I have a package from Jacqueline. She sent me tons of her beautifully handmade cards that are just gorgeous and very, very professional. And I will enjoy using these cards. They're so pretty.
so creative. I did card making like back in the early 2000s. They weren't as good as these ones. And she also has these little cards, which I just adore. They're so cute. So thank you so much for sending me these beautiful handmade cards. She also sent me a ton of washi tapes with lots of cats on it, which I absolutely love. So thank you so much. And then she sent me the Mission Gold Pure Pigment set of 24 colors as a sample. This palette is absolutely huge. Do you see how big this is? She sent me samples of the Pure Pigment set, which is wonderful because Jackson doesn't sell the Pure Pigment set, so I had no way of trying them. What I'm gonna do though with this set, because it's a full set and there's 24 colors, I'm gonna do a separate video to review this set properly. I'm going to be getting the normal Mission Gold set, so I want to be able to compare and comment on the difference between the sets as well. This will be a separate video, and also this video is hugely long already. She created this gorgeous, gorgeous swatch card as well, which I'm very grateful for the amount of time she took to create this. She also sent me several, several sheets of, I think the same watercolor paper that she did this on. I don't know what kind of paper it is. It looks very beautiful and I'm very, very grateful for you sending me such a huge parcel. It was a massive parcel and we're gonna have so much fun swatching and testing out this pure pigment set as well. Thank you very, very much, Jacqueline. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the mailbox opening. I am incredibly grateful and thankful and honored and humbled that you guys being so generous in sharing your paint with me. I really, really do appreciate it. It allows me to show way more paints than I could personally afford to show on this channel. So thank you so much. Obviously, you do not have to send me anything at all, but if you are interested, just in case you want to know, my PO box address is always in the description below on every video. And I think I will make the mailbox on opening a regular thing on this channel so that we can all enjoy the kindness and generosity of people that send in these lovely paints. You guys know me so well and it's really lovely that you guys took the time and money and effort to send me these paints. Thank you so, so very much. If you enjoyed this video, then do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching this video and super, super big thank you to everyone that sent in very generous things and I will see you in the next video. Bye.